You are looking live at one of the most scenic areas of the country, Boise, Idaho. Home to a fairy tale about college football. The Boise State Broncos have grown from a junior college to a university stalking a BCS national championship. And they've done it on their magic blue carpet. Since 1999, the Broncos are 71 and 2 on the blue. And Oregon State comes in tonight determined to do something about that number. Good evening, everybody. We're Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brett Musburger. What a day it's been already. Here is a story here tonight. 89 degrees at kickoff. Light breeze and clear, but it is warm for this September night in Boise, Idaho. Now, Mike Riley just won the coin toss, and he will receive. He wants to go on the attack early in this game. And on the other side, a man who has never lost on the blue as a head coach. Chris Peterson, 26 and 0. So this crowd is all revved up. Pull up your favorite chair, get your favorite beverage, come on in and sit down and measure these Broncos. How good are they? Bronzeman out of the end zone, coming to the 20 yard line. At Play fake. Fumble. Katz recovers it. Hit by Jamar Taylor on the corner blitz. Need 15. Katz can't find a man open. And he'll go down at the nine-yard line. That defensive front, Billy Wynn and Shea McClellan, two big timers. Billy Wynn. Number 90 is as good as any defensive lineman out in the West. He'll drop back into the gun. And he'll put it up on first down. Throws in underneath. And stepping out, hard running back. Play fake, they're going to keep it in the air. Throw to him for the first down. You can see how hard he is to bring down. And on their first possession, Boise State threatening. He's the taller of their ace receivers. And Kellen's going to flip it to him. And he's going to throw on the end around. Touchdown. And there is the trickeration. Tommy Gallarda, the tight end on the receiving end as they bring Austin Pettis around. And he throws a touchdown pass. Uh, he's lined up in the right side. And Pettis Brent, as you said, gets so much attention for his ability to catch the ball. Kyle Bronsman try to corral him at number eight. Going to bring it across the field. Looking for a lane. Got one. Needs a block. Cuts inside. Needs one more. Headed for the end zone. What a return. Touchdown. 53 yards. Folks, he's magical on the return. Visible up front. Second and two, Harper picks up the first down, and he slips two. So have a third back in Jeremy Avery. Throwing, and a beautiful catch by Young. And how about that throw, Herbie? Boy, that, that is an amazing throw right over the shoulder of his receiver, Titus Young, and he got a matchup that he loved, Jordan, Jordan Poyer, who's a safety in a corner, all by himself on an island. This is going to be one of the key matchups tonight. Can Oregon State, when they bring, bring pressure... This has been his bugaboo, 21 yards on its way, and he nails that one. Want to set the screen in trouble. Quiz Rogers was in the neighborhood, and there is McClellan. He played Princess uh, Theater got a little well there. Exactly. Play action and it going, shaken free. First man could not bring him down. Fires complete, and that's Austin Pettis 
But how about the way, and let's hear it up in Prosser, Kellen Moore shook the defender, Brandon Harden, who was coming with a blitz. He comes with a blitz right off of the defense, off the edge there. Really catches Moore, I think, in the offense off guard. But a great job by Kellen Moore, not just escaping and showing some strength. Down the sideline and caught one-handed by Titus Young. Brett, the multiple wide receiver formations are starting to expose Oregon State in space, and Harden is a big physical corner at 6'2", 215. Moore has thrown already for 168 yards, and he's looking for more. Touchdown! Austin Pettis caught it going in, and Austin Pettis has just scored his fourth touchdown as a receiver. Remember, he also threw a touchdown pass earlier tonight. And Brent, that's Oregon. That is that is Boise State's offense in a nutshell. Four plays, 81 yards, and Kellen Moore putting on a clinic on how to distribute the football. Trevor Harmon kicking off. They rest Kyle Brotsman. He kicks off, punts, kicks extra points. Fielded now by Poyer as they continue to kick away from Rodgers. Poyer with an alley. Cuts back, and he is near midfield. Complete right into the middle, and that was Halahuni, 41 yarder. Got it. Pull back to within seven. Oregon State hanging in in Boise. Hinton slips back onto the field, and they'll swing pass to him. Had a wall, and he's out to the and Montana State. Pushed Washington State to the wall earlier this year in the fourth quarter. So there's some really good football players in the FCS. Play action now by Kellen Moore. Moore going downfield. Oh, wide open. He'll back in. Titus Young. 49, and folks, that's too easy. Brian Harden is stating his case as a corner, saying that he stepped out of bounds. I think he was forced out of bounds. Again, Harden isolated one-on-one, -on -one, a little out and go. And he goes out of bounds, but he works his way back onto the field. Harden almost gave up on the play, and you can see him pointing there. But Titus Young got pushed out of bounds by Harden. Back in the pocket. There's that deep strike arm, and it is complete to Jordan Bishop, the track man number 23, and that was a fine throw. Katz slips the first one, but not the second. Ran back into more trouble as he scrambled away, and there is a penalty flag. Unsportsmanlike conduct, taunting number 40 on the defense. 15 yards, we will look to see if it is first down. That is Tyrone Crawford, and that will incur the wrath of Chris Peterson. And that's the sort of thing that he does not tolerate. Here's your power look. Quiz shakes free. Touchdown. They had him. Iloka was there, and they could not bring him down. And James Rogers' brother goes into the end zone, and it is game on on the blue turf once again. And here we get a one-touchdown game. Toss play for Boise State to Martin, and Martin breaks a tackle and breaks free. Crosses midfield. Still on his feet. Can't bring him down. Battling to the 25. What a powerful running back that young man is. Well, Brent, we've been talking about him all night, and this will give you an idea how physical he really can be in the open field when he has a chance to run downhill. Look at him. Look at this safety, Lance Mitchell. Mitchell doesn't do a very good job, but it was good contact, but he didn't wrap up. And against Doug Martin, if you don't wrap up, his leg strength will allow him to bounce off. Looks like he ran out of bounds there, didn't he? It was very close. That is very close. <laughs> Kellen fires middle. Touchdown! He hits Tyler Shoemaker, the junior from nearby Meridian, Idaho. Beat.
Brown bobbles it, free ball. Oregon State's got it. They'd be down right there. So Rashad Reynolds, a corner from Los Angeles, California, comes up with a loose football. Special teams have been big tonight for Oregon State. Red the field to stretch Boise's defense. Cats, good athlete, runs away from the pressure, fires back to the middle. Got it! Stumbling, fumbling, touchdown Oregon State! Joe Halahuni falls on the ball in the end zone, and the Beavers are back again as Daryl Ketchings caught it and turned it loose. Rumbling, fumbling, stumbling. Ketchings makes the catch, but Deron Johnson, he could have called a fair catch for the interception there. He mistimed his jump, and the ball just sailed right over top of him in right place to pick up that touchdown. And here is Young. Dangerous, great speed. Close to midfield again. Falling it for the touchdown to get him back within seven. Now on third down, throws for the first down and a fine catch by Shoemaker, who has one of the three, but hold on, there's a penalty flag. Personal foul, number five on the defense, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. That is Cameron Collins, three-yard field goal. This is his comfort zone, the right hash. He'll take the points. Stay. Cats off a play fake. A little bit of a confusion, but he completes it for a first and 10. And Halahuni. Third down and 10. And here comes Quiz. Surrounded. Penalty flag. Starts back. Still dancing. And here we are, it all began with this field and Gene Blayback. I think it works here. I don't know about that. You're not buying the red yet? I'm not buying the red just quite yet. <laughs> Third down and two. You don't think the Buckeyes? No, no. Red field? Okay. no. Run the toss play. And Martin breaks it again. Down to the 20 yard line. Now, this is an interesting point in this game. It is an interesting time, and it is another example where Martin's able to run through one, two, three tackles and eventually be brought down as they continue to wear down Oregon State. These are the times that really try Chris Peterson. 30-yarder. Now, Austin Pettis, who he was talking about, he's the holder. Puts it down for Bronsman who nails it. Hey, how about that? Two for two for the left hash. It's been the key guys. Katz is sacked at the 22-yard line. Meanwhile, the Big East, yikes. Yes. Fourth and 12. There's nothing like blue heaven for Boise State. It's one thing to play these teams that you don't always see. But you get in the conference play, teams are a little bit more familiar scheming against your offense. And all of a sudden, that's where upsets are. Remember all those years USC was dominant against everybody? They'd slip up to somebody in conference play. So that still can happen to a lot of teams in these next, uh, next seven or eight, nine weeks. Two fine gentlemen right there. You'd like having your youngster play for either of those men. Nice to see James Rogers. We hope he's going to be okay. That was a blow to Oregon State when they lost him. There's his brother. Players on these two teams, there's a lot of friends and people who played with and competed against each other in high schools. And let's check in now with Aaron and the fine young quarterback of Boise State. Brent, thanks. Kellen, first of all, Coach Peterson told us yesterday, being on a national stage tonight, he didn't care about your team making a statement in terms of rankings. He just wanted you guys to play well. What did you want to prove tonight? Yeah, I think just come out with a lot of energy, a lot of just enjoy this thing and have fun, uh, you know, play well out in front of the national stage. How do you guys think you 
played. I think we played pretty well. That was a good team. Uh, you know, they played neck and neck with TCU right early in the season, and uh, they're a good football team. They got some good players. Kirk was talking all night that you were just kind of putting on a clinic, the way you were able to distribute the ball all night. What was key in doing that? I think it's nice when you have good wide receivers like I do, so they make me look good. And talk about the time. It seems like you had so much time out there. Why? Yeah, awesome job by the offensive line. Recognize when they blitz and when they don't, they do a great job of holding up. All right, Kellen, thank you so much. Right, thanks, Aaron. All right, Brent. All right, Aaron, thank you very much. So Kellen Moore and the Boise State Broncos will thank some of their loyal fans as they head on inside and celebrate their 37-24 win. We want to thank you for watching ESPN on ABC. Now we're going to take you to Times Square for the Ford wrap-up with Robert Flores. Robert, take it away.